Let's start. For the initial app, we will use these configuration. For the theme we will support both, light and dark theme. For the light theme we have these configuration, like brightness, colors and text theme. On the app color, we have several colors for rest of the app, like primary color, secondary color, primary swatch and so on. For the text theme, we will use recommended configuration from the material theme, from display, headline, title, and body. For the dark theme, we will have same configuration but with different brightness and color, like in the text theme we will use same text theme with white color. For the route, we will have 5 different route in this app, get started, home, search, detail, and edit photo. And for the navigation route, we will user on generate route, the route generator callback used when the app is navigated to a named route. We use on generate route so we can specify the way the screen will displayed when we navigate to that screen. For the example, we use material page route so the screen just have simple fade transition. And we use page route builder so we can custom our screen transition, like this home screen we will have slide transition from right to left. On the core module, we have our general block, it just simple enum class for block status with 4 value, initial, loading, success and error. And we also have enum class for download status with 4 value. And we have general component, in this app it have general dialogue and snack bar. For the snack bar we have scaffold messenger, with simple configuration like floating behavior, background with opacity, and title from the parameter. For the dialog we have three general dialog. The first one is confirmation dialog, a simple alert dialog with title, description, and two button. And based on the button, the dialog will return true or false. So after we get result from dialog we can use it to other things, like determine next event or action. The next one is loading dialogue, it's just a simple dialogue with circular progress indicator in the center, we set bearer dismissible and will pop scope to false, so the user cannot close the dialogue, either with tap outside the dialogue or the back button from the navigation. And the last one is success dialogue. It's just a simple dialogue that has two widget, icon and message. And the next core module is network module. In the core module we have an extension class to DO package for network call. In this extension we just have a function with base URL parameter that return DO instance with simple configuration and logging. And we have client utils, a class that just a wrapper for static variable option for authorization Pexel API, you guys can change the value of the key authorization with your own key from Pexel API. And the last one we have main module, a place for we registered all the necessary data like a singleton for DO client repository, etc. So we only have one instance of these class in our app. And for the main module we will call it in our main function, so it get executed before or while we running our app. And I forget to mention, with the previous theme configuration, our app is now have the support for the light and dark theme.
Thanks for watching.